We made it. Oh, hi. We had the coolest guy. His name is Eli. Thanks, yeah, Eli. The rental car guy was so nice. So nice. And he gave us an upgrade. Ooh. Wait, did he give us an upgrade? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, he did? Yeah, we got a 2024 oh. Nissan oh, Rogue with one mile on it. <laughs> I've always wanted to drive the new Nissan Rogue. Can you see your breath yet? Oh, a little bit. I do. Yep. A little bit. Oh, where is it? Uh, K15. There it is. Hey. <laughs> We didn't even pull the sticker off. <laughs> it's so new. What's wrong, baby? Cold? <laughs> oh, he lied. It has eight miles on it. Eight? Eight. Send it back. So it's never been driven. <laughs> it's just been moved. We're going thrifting today, guys. All Look, thrifting. We're back at Allie's mom's New York house. Oh, snap. They're oh, they're roof. getting a new roof over there. What's our guess? Hello. 35000 No, I don't know. I don't it's know. a shingle roof. We're going to give you guys a walkthrough of the house later yeah. this is the back of it the front's pretty spooky spooky yeah. but today we're going to thrift stores so we're in what's this town called warsaw warsaw it's we're in warsaw town by letchworth state park it's like 50 minutes outside of buffalo yeah and also 50 minutes outside of rochester 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 and today we're going to geneseo yeah. These names, I'm probably saying these names. Genesio. Wrong. No, it's, Genesio. I think it's Genesio, Genesio think because that's right. how New Yorkers say it. Okay. So, well, then we'll Genesio. go with that. Not Genesio. South of Bagel and Genesio. Bagel. We never said Genesio, though. We always said Genesio. Genesio, yeah. Because I've heard someone say it before I ever said it. <laughs> Last time we were here, this thrift store that we're going to today was my favorite thrift store. It's in like a college town. Um, and usually like when we go to college towns, the thrift stores are filled with, you know, younger people looking for vintage and stuff. But this college town, the thrift store didn't really seem to be filled with students. Um, oh, it was weird. And they had a lot of good stuff there. So. It was nice stuff. And the prices were good too. They were very fair prices. So we'll see, things could have changed, but that's the first stop of today yeah. to the Goodwill. Let's go. I actually lied. In the little town that Ali's mom's house is in, there's this little thrift store. Where is it, love? In the little town the house is in. Warsaw. <laughs> it's up here. Right there. Where is it? It's like, called... It's past the shoe store right there. It's next to the Oh, shoe there store. it is. Hands and Hearts Thrift Store. Right here. here. Right here. I'm parking. <laughs> so this is actually going to be the first stop of today. And there's 50% off sale. Oh, store-wide 50% off. Sweet. Oh, there's a meat raffle, babe. Let's go. Oh my gosh, Allie, how are you not gonna get this? I want the beef. How much is it? How do you think my mom would feel if I brought this home? <laughs> 20 bucks. I think that's a fair price. Oh my god. Wait, it's 50% it. off? Wait, 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 hold it so what, people can see how big you? it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you should get it and put it on your mom's bed. <laughs> that's funny. It's funny. Uh, as long as we don't have to bring it home, sure. No, we're not bringing it home. Put it in Mike's bed. I'm going to. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. that's fine. If it's I'm 10 good. bucks, yeah, I get it. Okay. I'm get it. Ooh, panhandle oh, slow. So, babe, I need a pillow to sleep with on my side. Oh. 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 <laughs> this is a nice little pearl snap. Ooh. Oh, it's a panhandle. Yeah. Wow. You always have something. Rough stock. Here. Another one. Wrangler Rancher shirts. Rancher pearl snap. Short sleeve. Babe. Not the... The USA Wrestling base layer. Every wrestler wanted to get that tattoo. Oh, wow. That's <laughs> a cool. lot of them did. Uh, I found two of these. Ford EcoBoost. That's so cool. 2000. It's cool, though. $1.50. It's a band that I don't know. Big Bang. Huh. There's so many bands, though. And then another. I gotta look that up. Oh, and then nice. I wasn't sure if Kevin would want that. Oh, I sent him a picture. That's cool. My buddy has like 17 Ducati motorcycles. So I figured he would probably want that. Already the find of the day. Ah. <laughs> safety first, safety first. <laughs> Also, tell me that's not the Warner Brothers logo. Right? <laughs> it looks just like it. This jacket's awesome. Yeah, does anyone know what this logo is? Please let me know. It's, it's Bogner. It's a Bogner jacket. Is it, but like, part Warner, with Brothers. Warner Brothers? Yeah. Right? Is, that, oh, is that old? Yeah, it looks new. Oh. This type of fabric? Oh, you're right. That's very new. Cute. 
That's cool though. Or I just tried to strip the mannequin. Leave the man alone. Sorry, I can't see. <laughs> live, laugh, laugh, live, laugh, 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 laugh. Oh, it's so cute. I'd wear that. <laughs> I know. Actually, that's my size. That's your size. So, L.O. Bean. That's Harley. 15 bucks for the Harley Davidson. Oh, it's good stuff. Definitely. This is the boutique, so it's going to be more expensive. Carhartt. Do you like this? Whoa. I thought for you. That's awesome. It's, it's like a very alley piece. So sort of boho. Just, it's got a little hood on it. It is very boho. It's adorable. I just thought it would look It's very neat. But I have no uh, phone service in here, so some stuff huh. I can't look up. I do. This just came out on the rack. It's Levi's. Oh, that's cool. It's vintage. That's thick. The tag's been ripped off, so I can't see if it's a biggie or Weird. not. There's like a hole in this thing. It's got nice wear. Mm. Oh, here's the tag. Made in USA. Made in USA. Nice. Wow. Is that a good find? I think so. I love the wear on that. It's beautiful. There's a couple brands that I didn't know. Like this brand is called Sisters. Sist Sisters? Which, Little. It's, it's obviously a streetwear brand. I have no idea, but it is made Sisters. in USA. So I figured, look it up. The rainbow ones are. It's that one there, ten bucks. Uh, yeah. Okay. So we'll pass on that. Pass. At least we don't know. Who's this? <laughs> look how nice this is. Wow. Rocky Mountain Feather Bed Company. What? I have no idea, but it's that like, it's almost like that um, wax canvas. Whoa. You know, it's beautiful. Look at the what? detail made in usa so i don't know i was trying to look that up too well and so the reason why we think that this is definitely worth a shot is because we found that one jacket at the estate sale and it sold for 347 dollars oh right yeah and we were like yeah it's probably an 80 dollar jacket if we're lucky it's got leather work on it right here it's a zipper back here what's that for for your friend's gun for hunting <laughs> stick your birds in there i don't know yeah, can you look this one up for me? Feather bed? Mm hmm. See, quality. Those are just vests. Oh, grab Dude, it. Jacket. Put it in your cart, babe. Don't leave it on the rack. <laughs> okay, grab it, right? Grab it. Is that it. it? Hold on, hold on. That's it right there, right? That's close. Really close. Their picture looks blown out. For 250 In high contrast. You like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. <laughs> and then look. How about a nice vintage yellow bean wool vest? Wow. Very pretty. <gasps> Very nice. That looks like a vest for the like, business. It does. And then <laughs> look. The back. Here's the jacket to match. Stop. You gotta model that. Really together. nice. <laughs> vintage uh, wool yellow bean is always good. Always? Almost always. Oh my gosh, Age of Empires 3! <laughs> so much fun playing this. So how did we do? Fantastic. Hell yeah. We could stop. Like, that's how good it was. This is the stuff that I actually well. like to buy a lot. Yeah, that's true. I love vintage jackets. And you know what? Like, we never find stuff like this in Florida. We always find, you know, like Florida stuff. Like Tommy Bahama and, you know, Columbia and stuff like that. Oh but <laughs> jackets? It's rare that we find good jackets. Yeah, these are good jackets. I'm yeah. very excited about but this apparently one. Apparently, we lie about finding Tommy Bahama at thrift stores. Do we? Apparently. No, just coach. Just coach. <laughs> no, no, no. Someone said we were liars about the Tommy Bahama. Tommy Bahama, really? And so many people in the comments were like, I just found five shirts. But that's everywhere. Uh, it's, yeah, I know. It's weird. And it's not even good anymore. I really like this Nissan Rogue. You want it? Do I want it? I just don't want a gas car. You're a gas car. It's snowing. There's snow. It just started snowing. Oh, it's going you can like. see it now, yeah. Wow. Look at it. Through our snow. window. Oh, through our window window? Snow. Oh, there's one right there. It's snowing at the Goodwill. Diner. Shout out Brian's Diner. Brian? <laughs> Brian. Oh my god. <laughs> Buffalo chicken soup. I'm intrigued. You want to try it? I want to see your face, yeah. Nice spice to it. 
Oh. Okay, this is my soup. One more spoon. That looks good. Yeah, I got a pickle. Any like vintage shorts? Wow, those it's are so actually large. really cool. They're super you. I like the mesh pockets. This is something like you would wear. I would absolutely wear this. Twenty times in a row, <laughs> like that other pair that you won't stop wearing. <laughs> <laughs> It was a bathing suit, but they took the lining out. Yeah, you hate the lining. I'd wear these. Should I get them? I, I mean, you'll wear them. We live in Florida. So Even if you wore them 30 times in a row and then we threw them away, it'd be worth it. Those are cool. Hey, that's awesome. What are you talking about? <laughs> that's so good. Love it. I'd totally put that in my office. <laughs> <laughs> I remember this thrift store. Ooh. What is this? Oh, that's cool. It's a train. Oh, wow. That's a nice one. Yeah. This is a Crisco. It's dated 1998. That's a pretty nice one. Four dollars. Oh, it's damaged, though. Dang. It's missing, like, a whole bunch of down. That sucks. It's an 800 series. Lorsheim Vintage. It's these. Side the side zip, yeah, they look pretty similar to those. Damn, for two dollars, did we get them? Four Sean boots. Welcome to my mom's crib. All right, so what you see here is the foyer. It's very cold and drafty. There's a big draft that comes from here and there's a giant hole down there. So yeah, this is, this is the foyer. <laughs> Closed door. So from the foyer, which I guess, guys, we just unloaded a pet ski truck into the foyer. It holds a lot of stuff. This is a big foyer. It's, we left these boxes here for you so you could see like, you know, everyone here, you've shipped stuff. That's a large or an extra large Home Depot box, but it goes all the way up. This is the first room. It has a special name. I don't know what this room is called, but it has a name. So we're calling this the living room for modern day times. One cool thing about this room, it has really big windows. Nothing has been done in here yet. But Mike, my bonus dad, he put these invisible sheets, shields up to keep the, um, the draft out. And they really work. But this room hasn't been painted, sanded. Nothing has been done yet in this room, except furniture has been brought in. And the house is super wonky crooked, everybody. So if you push this, you could die. <laughs> and then this here will be the dining room. Again, in this room, nothing has been painted, sanded, anything. But you're going to love the kitchen because it has been destroyed. And the peep. Don't, forget about the peep. Don't forget about the poop. The, everything was nice and neat and tidy and clean until we unloaded a moving truck and now we have stuff in here everywhere. My mom was like, I'm trying to clean. She was like rushing around cleaning things. But you'll see how nice she cleaned the kitchen. So no, my mom did clean. She just didn't have enough time to clean everything. And you know, there's like big furniture. She can't physically move. Here is the kitchen so far. Look at it. So what's been done since we got here this time around, these lights were installed because there's going to be an island here on this area for extra space. This was not originally a kitchen. The entire kitchen was in there. The cabinets were disgusting from mice. There was feces and other things in them. So those have been removed. They're gone. The subfloor was ripped out in here. And my mom, this is a temporary countertop. 
because she wanted to get the vibe for how it would feel. And then this is the sink that she's going to keep, but I think it's an undermount, but they just like top mounted it for now for the temporary piece of furniture. But they needed a working kitchen enough where they could rip out that because the sink used to be in there blocking the window. And then the stove is just going to be over here too. So this will be an island. This is where the sink and dishwasher and fridge is going to stay. And then in here, this is where the stove is going to be. Yeah, so this is crazy. But I'm realizing now that's drywall, so I can put nails in this wall and hang stuff. So I can decorate that bathroom, which you're going to love to see that bathroom because it's done for the most part. And then this room in here, which I guess we'll go through so people can see, this is currently the master bedroom. So come on in. This room, only holes have been patched. Oh, also, the kitchen has been painted. So in case you're wondering, it's been painted. This room has not been painted yet because, you know, they can live in it and it's fine. It's just been cleaned. There's also a closet under the stairs. <laughs> it's pretty solid though under the stairs closet I mean I guess in the future if they wanted to put like a toilet or something in there they could right I don't know but as we are right now the house is two full bathrooms and how many bedrooms want this is a bedroom down here so that's one two three four five six se seven bedrooms this house has seven bed this house has seven bedrooms that's a lot all right, so you guys kind of see how that was like connected there. I know to build a picture, it's really hard, but so if you pan this way, you see that is the kitchen area and then this is the master. So there are kind of doors in a circle. All right, let's go upstairs. And then we can go down the creepy stairs in the back. Okay. Yeah? Sure. Okay, we'll go up the fancy stairs and then down the creepy stairs. Here's mom. Oh, thank you. I forgot to bring that downstairs. Oh. Look at bonus dad got us for Valentine's Day. There are only five left. <laughs> Ryan ate most of them. <laughs> Ryan likes candy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Thanks for picking up my Recycle. trash. But look how cute that is. XOXO. I like would love to cut them out and make a craft with them. But <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Well, that would be cute. Well, the ceilings are really tall. Mom, do you know how high the ceilings are? How? How high? Super high. Super high. What? Like 30 milligrams? <laughs> She's short. Yeah, actually, the ceilings are really, they've got to be like 12 feet. I think you're right. And the house was built in 1869. Yeah. <laughs> so here are the fancy stairs. There's a plug over here. I stuck an orchid in there. That's from my... Uh, Middle, uh, no, high school. That was my high school faux orchid. All right, and then up here is a beautiful landing. And the whole house, you know, like, <laughs> this house is not straight. <laughs> but beautiful window, beautiful light. I used to always think that this area doesn't get sunshine, but every day we've been here, there's been sun at least every other day, if not the full day. So I guess because we're in a valley in Warsaw but we get a lot of sun. And then this is also one of the original bedrooms of when the house was built. This is the worst off room, so we're gonna push this to the back burner because we can do two rooms in the amount of time it would take to do this one room. So we're gonna come back to this room. Also, my mom is going to put a bathroom back in because they ripped one out, but all the sewage lines and the water lines were there. So there's going to be three full bathrooms in this house instead of two full bathrooms in this house. But that's this here. Do we go through this way or do we go through that way and then come back in this way? Yeah. Let's go, let's go through that way and then we'll come back in this way. Then you can see what the little bathroom closet looks like. So we got this as clean as we could. We were moving some furniture around. Um, I have so much video footage of my mom and I doing this room and I gave it to Callie, but it's so much like for her to sit there and edit it, it would take a significant amount of time. So I might have to edit it down and then give the file to her to finish it because it's a lot of footage. But here's the room. It's super loud and creaky. We have a rug. 
haven't gotten to put it down yet because my mom just got here a few days ago and there was a party and then now Ryan's leaving today. So in the next couple of days, we'll get a rug put down. We're gonna move this into a different room because it just doesn't look good where we stuck it. But this is the botanical room. So the theme is kind of just the botanical side of Versailles. And we have all these prints over here that are gonna work. They just need to get cleaned up. We have a bunch of frames. I have to learn how to put a nail in plaster because I've never done that before and I've never even Googled how do I do it. So I'll watch a couple videos and then I'll decorate. So yeah, hopefully that'll look great. And let's show you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, all right, all right. You ready? Look at how weird this is for now. This used to be a closet. They ripped out the bathroom. Oh, did Donnie turn all the lights? Hi! Look at that. So last time I was here, this room and this room we worked on. And the light fixture is mostly hung. I need to take off the extra piece of chain that doesn't need to be there. Toilet's here, and then it's really hard to see, but like a sink's gonna be here. They're gonna blow out this section here, slash cut it out. And it's, it is drywall, so this area is not original. They like added this space. It used to be a bathroom. So this is drywall currently, so is that. But this closet was like a Jack and Jill closet? Yeah. Because why not? And the sink's gonna go there if you see the water lines. But it comes back into this room. Oh, sorry to show you the open toilet, that's rude. Have some manners, Allison. Ta-da! So, yeah. All right, cool. And then, so you guys can see it from this angle. So now you see where the door goes, right? Isn't that crazy? It's so hard to imagine a house from yeah. somebody else whenever you're just looking at it on a little camera. Oh, you guys have seen the original forest room. I'll let you peek at it. We did shove a dresser and a bed in here. So it's not like clean and tidy, but I did make the bed for you. And mom turned on the lamp. But so here's this room right now. This hopefully we'll be able to get to that room in the back where this is gonna go and we'll be able to move this by the end of the week. It's echoey. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> this hallway is crazy. Because this is the addition. I don't know what year the addition was added on, and I don't want to say the wrong year, but I literally have no idea. So now, bedroom, 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 bathroom. So this is one of the three back bedrooms. This is my favorite room. It gets the best light. And then there's a whole walk-in closet here with brick, where you can see the original brick from the house in this closet, which is so freaking cool. And then the, you can see the exterior as well. So the closet looks great. It just needs time and work and new drywall on the ceiling because there used to be a leak, but you know how it goes. It's a closet. So with the amount of time we have, it's going to wait to get done. And then the bathroom. This is the, I don't, I don't know what the bathroom originally looked like, but this is what it looks like now. <laughs> it's as 50s as they come. My uh, mom did replace the vanity because what was in here was disgusting. It was not the original beautiful blue one. She knows this is worth money, so whenever they do update this bathroom <laughs> they're going to sell the toilet and they'll try to save as much tile as they possibly can because it does and the tub they'll save that as well maybe someone will even pay them to come and take it out so but we're going to try to preserve that uh, the tile is cracked in a lot of locations but this room also has a giant linen closet it's like was this a bedroom because it's such a big room Look how big the linen closet is. And this is a room we're going to work on. We're going to paint it and paint in there because obviously it's creepy in there and dark. And like they covered this in blue paper. I mean, it's I actually maybe I'm just going to shut that and pretend it doesn't exist. because Yeah, that's not there. I'm good. <laughs> that's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> and then one of the coolest features at the end of the hallway. Look at the window. 
it just needs some repair so that we can use it, but until then. And all of the floors were painted like this and in bad shape like that. So um, this is going to be a room with twin beds. But right now, it is a storage room because you need a storage room whenever you're working on a house. You can't do all the rooms at the same time. Like, that's insane. And then this cute little room was also a bedroom. And whenever my mom bought the house, I was with her and the, uh, one of the sons of the people, which they're now adults, they're my, same age as my mom, actually. He said he did this. He chopped off, like knocked off all of the chisel, chisel, not chopped, but chiseled off all of the plaster on that. So it's pretty. And this actually has a nice big closet. This closet is super creepy and there's definitely water damage and at one point spiders. And I also don't like this closet because it's super creepy. I do dig the wallpaper though. <laughs> and there's some beautiful door handles. I think they painted some. They were weird. They made weird choices and did weird things. But so now are you ready? This is really hard to imagine and build this house in your mind. I wish I could show you a floor plan, but I don't have one. I'm probably not going to make one, but oh no, we don't have any lights installed. Look at the creepy stairs. Look at the creepy stairs. It's going to look extra creepy. Should I do flashlight mode? It wouldn't even make a difference. No. Yeah, that looks creepy. That looks creepy. Whoa, whoa. My mom replaced these lights because originally they had outdoor lights and the voltage they were pulling was like blowing up bulbs. The bulbs were literally popping. So I don't think it was electrical. I literally think it was just like these really junky lights that they had. And we're going to go down the creepy steps, but you can't see much. Another storage room. And a bonus dad. Quick run away. <laughs> we'll just blur him out and then no one will know what he looks like. And so this back room has this amazing wood burning stove. I love to just walk up to it and stare upon the embers. You just gaze, gaze upon them. It's so cool. Whenever they were selling the house, everybody kept trying to buy it. But like, if the power goes out, you have a stove, yeah. you know? So I want my mom to keep it. She's like, yeah, it takes up all the space. And I'll say, you have this whole giant house, mom. Keep the stove. Everyone's going to leave comments, keep the stove. And then Mike got a piano because he plays lots of music. So there's also a piano here now. And then there's a whole laundry room, like a whole room for laundry. Boom. So what's been done in here? Fresh paint on the walls. Um, uh, I guess fresh paint on the windows. They look painted. Some fresh curtains for privacy. And then look how cool this piece is. This piece is so amazing. My mom stores all the stuff in there. She's pretty organized. Has all the goodies in there. But there was a party yesterday, so there's a little disarray. And then new light switches. And every time. A new light switch gets installed. Uh, the electrician, my mom's childhood friend's husband, whenever he's there, he will find wires stuck together with no junction boxes times six per each run. So they've been slowly updating the electrical so that there's not an electrical fire. There was actually electrical fire in one of the brick houses. I think it was like down the street from here or even on the same street, but down further. So a house caught on fire because of the electrical wiring. So now they're like, let's really work on the electrical. But yeah, it's, it's not great. And then the basement. There's still dirt floors in the basement. We're not going to go in there because there's literally nothing to see. It looks like a dark, creepy, dirt stone wall basement. Like every single horror movie you've ever seen, it's perfect for if anyone wants to film a horror movie, we got the spot for you. <laughs> and then we're back to the kitchen. So if you want to swing it around here and then show like that's what's back there is a room we were just in for everyone to kind of get like an idea, you know, right. you see that? And then there was disgusting carpet in here and they ripped it out and it smells so much better. It was so disgusting. Did you show the bathroom? Did I show the bathroom? I didn't show the bathroom. Let me hide this trash can. Okay. And then the bathroom that I worked on with um, my mom 
two times ago that I was here, we repainted everything. This cabinet, as much as we would love to just like rip it out and replace it, I was, Oh my God, there were like hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a cabinet. I said, just leave it. It works for now. You need to spend that on electrical and plumbing because they're adding a whole nother bathroom. And then this is the old vanity, but we updated all of this and it looks beautiful. Like there's a new beautiful mirror, new sink, like all of the plumbing has been updated from the wall out and checked and verified below in the basement that it's safe and not leaking. Same as like the sewage lines, but we have it nice in here. And look, the invisible shield. <laughs> Who's tried to look out the window through one of these? Leave a comment below. <laughs> Ryan did it. I did, I did it. it. My mom did it. Everyone's done it so far. <laughs> oh my gosh. So this is the house, everybody. I'm glad you got to see it. I hope you like it. And if you don't, just let me know that you do like it and only leave nice comments about how cool this house is. But no, it's fun. It's fun. I love this house. I love being here. There's beautiful stuff. Like there's this beautiful wood patio right out here. There's that giant carriage house that nothing's changed for the carriage house except they added a door because like the bears kept trying to come in. There's bears, like actual bears, lots of bears. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so thanks everyone. I hope you like the update. I know everyone's been asking. I'll try to keep up with sending or doing videos or something. I don't know. I can't edit. It's not my thing. <laughs> I don't know how that's going to happen. I have a ton of footage of us working on stuff, but maybe one day I'll get to editing it and I'll have all of the footage and I'll just edit like three years worth of footage down into like 20 episodes or something because then I'll be good at editing because I'll only be editing. Yeah. Okay. Bye.